Hello there. <laughs> Good afternoon, evening, morning. Wherever you are Wherever in the world. You are. Um, happy Father's Day mm. to everyone out there, fathers and non fathers. Mm -hmm. Everybody has a father. Father figures. Father figures. Soon to be fathers. Grandfathers. We're going to talk about all that coming up. Um, but uh, to get started, if you attend our sessions regularly, we tell a little bit of information at the beginning just to let everybody get their seats in the concert hall mm -hmm. and maybe get a drink if you need a drink or uh, have a bite to eat, uh, get yourself settled. Um, if we have anybody uh, watching who doesn't know who we are, we we're just going to introduce ourselves real quick. Um, my name is Caitlin Morbelow. This is Chris Ranney. We are the um, co-founders of Tune Supply, which is right here yeah. above my head. Um, and we, uh, uh, we are producing and, and broadcasting this gigantic concert for you today, which we are super excited about. Um, I'm so excited that I'm a little bit nervous, yes. which is weird because... Remember when we started doing the internet stuff, yeah. we were super nervous yeah. like this. But we've done like now we've done like 35 broadcasts yeah. of sessions and concerts and but somehow, everything. But somehow I'm nervous again. <laughs> anyway, Because this, this is a big one. This is really exciting. Like it's a big one. 90 performers, yes. six countries. Yes, it's a big one. Really going to be fun. And we're really excited um, to see some friends over in the comments. Um, so let me just give you a rundown of some stuff while people are still coming into the concert hall. Um, Let's see. I actually have a list to make sure I don't forget anything. Great, good. Okay, the info about what's going on here, as usual, is down in the description of the video. Um, that has info about Tune Supply. Um, also, if you scroll all the way down, it has the program for today. Um, this is going to be a pretty long concert between two and a half and three hours. Probably so closer to three, I would say. We'll see how much I talk. Yeah. It's really dependent on that. It's um, already off to a good start. It's off start. to a terrible start already <laughs> with my talking. Um, anyways, the program is down there. If you want to um, leave and come back, please do. Please go get some uh, fresh air, stand up, do your exercises. Yes. Um, but you can we'll see. We'll still be here. <laughs> we will be here for a long time. <laughs> um, but you can see who's coming up in the program down there. You can also um, sign up for the Tune Supply mailing list if you're interested in further events like this or other things that we're doing. Um, you can take a little break and go check out the Tune Supply website, which has actually the bios of a lot of the people that are on this concert if you yep. want to learn more about them. And um, also, uh, quite importantly, the contribution link. So obviously this concert is free. However, if you um, are liking the music and you have a few bucks to spare, all of the money that's raised today will be distributed to all of the people performing. Um, most of the people here are professional musicians who have um, lost their jobs uh, due to all of the COVID shutdown. So, so a main goal of Tune Supply and of this concert is to help support the uh, music community. And I usually would say trad music community because we do focus on traditional music. However, today we've got a huge, cool assortment, including classical, uh, jazz, and various types of traditional yep. music. Um, so we're really excited about the variety we've got. Contribution link lives above Chris's head. Part of the time he holds it up with the power of his brain, yep. which, is, which is large. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that, but... <laughs> Um, it's also down in the in the description of the video, and I will be putting it in the comments. I don't know what side the comments are on, but I'll be putting it in there as well throughout, and so it will be inescapable. There are two links. They both go to the same place. The reason there's two links is because one of them went down the other week when we were doing a broadcast, so there's now two. <laughs> but it doesn't matter which one you go to. It's That's the just, same. It all goes to, uh, uh, to Tune Supply. Yeah, it goes to the Tune Supply Artist Fund, so it doesn't matter which one you do. You could do both if you want. Yes. That's allowed. It is um, okay, let me look at my list and see if there's anything else. Oh, comments, yeah. So a lot of you are already commenting. I haven't read the comments yet, but um, if you do want to comment and you're on your phone, we believe that you have to have the YouTube app in order to comment. And we would love to talk to you in the comments um, while the other musicians are playing. So please go ahead and chat to us. Um, tell us how you're doing, all that sort of stuff. Um, I think... That might be it. Okay, so let's move on to the actual material here. All right. So the reason we're here is because it's Father's Day. It is also another important holiday for people who live in northern um, states, countries, and territories. Uh, I'm from Alaska originally, so this is important to me. It is the summer solstice. So the two holidays that we're celebrating today, but mostly we're doing Father's Day. And um, throughout the broadcast, you're going to see some pictures of the fathers and grandfathers and, and children of musicians who are performing. Uh, we also collected up some pictures from our 
uh, childhoods and of our grandparents and things like that. So we're going to get it started off with a few pictures um, of my dad from when I was little. Uh, his name is Art Warblow. And I just got a bunch of pictures we're going to run through here. This is um, me and my dad. Uh, I would have been not yet two years old in this picture there. I look like a, a doll. Porcelain doll or something. Wow. <laughs> Where did that go? I don't know. Um, the blonde hair, geez. So I grew up in Alaska, and my dad um, owned for a long time a Bush Air Service flying small planes around. These are Super Cubs, which are my favorite type of small plane. That's him on the right there. And um, so I spent my childhood uh, doing a lot of adventuresome things that I didn't realize were adventuresome until I left Alaska. This is my sister and I. I'm on the right there, and that's Rachel on the left. Um, that's my dad's super cub, my favorite of his super cubs. And so we would take uh, trips out to the, the wilderness and just yeah. land wherever, wherever he wanted to, which was pretty fun. This is my dad uh, and I reading a book. Now, the interesting thing is I was looking closely at this picture. That's a freaking chapter book. Yeah, that's a serious <laughs> book. That's not for a kid. So oh. one of the one of the things um, that's really cool about my dad is he he pushed all four of us yeah, yeah. really hard to be, of course, reading chapter books when we were two or three or whatever we are there, um, which I appreciate. Now, this I'm sure parents have hmm, witnessed yeah, the scene. Everybody that, can relate to this. <laughs> that is me having a fit, which I had many of those, especially when learning to play the violin or yeah. getting my hair brushed. Yeah. Um, and that's my dad trying to calm me down. Not very successfully, it looks yeah. like. And I think this is the last one. Yeah. This is me and my dad. I believe this is in Boston. He, he uh, We lived in Boston for a while when he went to Harvard to get his PhD. And then we moved back to Alaska. I think that's our Boston apartment. Um, wow. So those are some pictures of my dad. Great photos. Those are great. <laughs> you know, Chris knows I love old pictures. And whenever we do our broadcasts, I do a picture sort through to find the best ones. Yeah. So well, there are some other ones coming up. Plenty more old pictures coming up <laughs> yes. for sure. We won't bore you too much, but that's to get you started off. And we're going to, Chris and I are going to play a few sets, not as many as last time because we have actually more artists, like twice as many on this concert as we did the first time. So we're going to keep it short. But right now we're going to start off with a set of tunes, um, which we're going to de dedicate to both of our dads. Yep. And the tunes are uh, Her Golden Hair Flowing Down Her Back, The Ebb Tide, and The Boys of Ballast. Sorry, the boys of Balsadere to get us started off here. <laughs> Thank you. 
okay, we're warmed up. I'm more than warmed up now. I'm sweating. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Chris and I have been doing mostly tune supply uh, production sort of work for the last month. So this morning we were like, oh, we have to play a concert today. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so we haven't played like actually played in weeks. No. So. So, um, Sorry if it's a little rusty. It's a little rusty, and my yeah. finger calluses are just coming back in, which is a little painful. Um, so we're doing our best here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's going to be some much better musicians coming up coming like, right up in just soon. a second, actually. I am going to introduce this first group of um, people we've got. Let me put this down. Uh, so the concert is divided into six sets of five performers each. We will be back in between those sets to talk to you. Um, but this first set starts off with some, some old friends of mine, um, the oldest of whom is Andy Tanning. I grew up with her in, uh, in Fairbanks, Alaska when we were babies. We, we played yeah. music together in the Suzuki program. So she's going to be playing with uh, some folks that we play on Broadway with when Broadway is a thing. Uh, we usually play in a show called Come From Away. So two of the Come From Away players are doing a collaboration with Andy, which would be cool. And um, starting off the set, actually, is uh, another really old friend of mine, Isaac Alderson. And um, we go back, go back a long ways. I'm not going to say how long. Um, <laughs> but he is going to start off this set of uh, tunes with his band, The Yanks, featuring all the trad superstars you could imagine. Um, so enjoy the music. Um, I'll be posting uh, links in the comments to the musicians' uh, websites. Please go visit them. Please support uh, the music, buy their CDs, all that kind of stuff. We will see you in a few minutes.
Hi, it's Matt and Shannon Heaton in Medford, Massachusetts. Along with Kieran Jordan in Dorchester. And to all the dads out there, we wish you a very happy Father's Day. Woo! We're going to play the Blackbird. Happy Father's Day. Oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Hello, happy Father's Day. I hope you're all keeping well. I'm here down in Orlando, Florida with my brother Shane. Hello. We've been joined by Pat Ducey, who's up in Queens, New York. So we're gonna try a jig and free reels. And the first tune's a Paddy Fahey tune. I think it, we call it Paddy Fahey's. And then the reels are called A Hard Road to Travel, The Master's Daughter, and a lovely reel from Jimmy Keane to finish called The Charleston Reel. So, three, two, one. 
four. Enjoy the rest of the day.
Happy Father's Day, everyone. It's an honor to be here, if not only digitally, with the great Alan Murray and two fathers in the house, Pat and Matt, who both have two beautiful little girls. I'm not a father myself today, but I will be a year from today, hey. and I'll have a right. little girl myself, so I look forward to commemorating this day with you lads and all of the fathers out there. We're going to do three reels by the great Ed Reavy, and they are Huey's Cap in Memory of Coleman and Madhavan's Chapel. You ready, boys? Let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Thank you. 
Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Bye-bye. Yeah, boys. Woo. Woo nice, guys. I can't believe Finn is going to be a dad. That's so exciting. I think that was the announcement to the world. It was at least the announcement yeah. to me. <laughs> we got uh, really excited when we yeah. heard that. <laughs> Very cool. Um, that was amazing. So um, that was just the first of six sets <laughs> yes. of music that we have. <laughs> Five so, more to come. Don't worry. Lots more tunes. There's a lot of stuff uh, to come. Yes, and don't forget, especially if you're just joining us, um, I gave a big spiel at the beginning, um, which was totally unnecessary. All you need to do is go down in the description to find all the information that you need about um, Tunes to Play and the concert and the contribution links and also the program. So if you are looking for a specific uh, one of the 90 plus people that are on the concert tonight, you can go look in the program. There's yeah. not times because we don't actually know what time anything's going to be happening, but um, you can It depends on how plan. long we talk. You mean me? No, we. Oh, we. Okay. Yeah. Um, anyway, speaking of Chris talking, um, it's now time to show some pictures of oh, Chris's yeah. dad. We've got, um, my parents sent over some, a couple old photos, not too many. Um, I'm actually from Hawaii originally, although I don't really consider myself to be like Hawaiian as if, as you do, like from Alaska, but, um. Well, you were only I, there when you were tiny. Yeah, I moved, uh, to the lower 48 when I was four, so... I'm from Hawaii in the sense that I was born there. But uh, we have some cool old, old photos from, with my dad and I from Hawaii here. Um, this one is me reading a book. Well, I guess it's probably my dad reading a book called Let's Look at Animals, which I fully support. Um, I, I could just read that book like 24 seven. I look a little skeptical on yeah. my face here, but- um, <laughs> You have the same look on your face now as a, uh, okay. This is one. actually, yeah, this is a normal, <laughs> normal um, scene here. Um, oops. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Um, so here, here we are looking at real animals here. I learned from the book. Giraffes are still some yeah. of your favorite. Yeah, I, I want to say this is like the Honolulu Zoo or something. I'm not sure. Then let's see. Here I am. I have the same look, very skeptical <laughs> look on my face here. Not sure how I feel about being carried on uh, my dad's back here. We never change. Right. That's, still, that's the lesson. And let's see. This is, I believe... I want to say this is Maui, but it, I could be wrong here. Some sort of railway in um, Hawaii here. And one more. Oh, this is actually at Mount Rushmore. I put this on because I love my sunglasses. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see them here, but they're really, I think that I was really ahead of my time with these um, these sunglasses. I don't know <laughs> what you guys think, but they are, they're very like space agey. So anyway. Well, you're usually quite fashionable. Yeah. Yeah. And so just a few selections from my childhood. I hope you enjoyed those. <laughs> Um, excellent, and I hope you've been enjoying the pictures from the, um, from the musicians as well. Um, not everybody was able to send in pictures, but everybody, I think everybody who sent pictures, we got them uh, onto the screen, so there'll be some more later. Um, okay, so we are uh, getting ready for the second set. Hopefully, uh, Puck said that you should go to your bartender and get a drink. Oh yeah, great. Hopefully everybody's gone to their personal bartender um, and obtained something. Um, I'm just starting off with water because... <laughs> We've been we have going three hours to go, so <laughs> yeah, some water is maybe good. later. We'll we're not imbibe. as crazed as we were for the Mother's Day concert. No, we actually slept last night, which we is, did sleep. Yeah, <laughs> as opposed to last time. Yeah. Um, anyway, so we have a second set of musicians here. Um, I won't n name everybody off. If you want to go look at the program again, it's down in the description, but I just want to note a few things. The main um, theme of this one is there's a couple of people uh, here who are on this segment, there, there's a lot of people who are in this category, but a few on this segment. Um, during the COVID internet music age, we have been working with um, a lot of people who we've never met. Um, some of them have been recommended to us, uh, some just contacted, contacted us out of the blue, some are friends of friends. Um, all of those collaborations have turned out to be spectacular. And it's weird and cool that um, we can make music with people while sitting here in our our, our apartment. Um, so one of those people is on this next segment. His name is Santiago Molina. I know there's a whole bunch of people from 
Argentina, Mexico, Spain, where else? I saw somebody from Chile. Chile uh, who are here for Santiago. And don't worry, he actually has two sets. Yeah. He's one of the only people who's on two <laughs> yeah. sets. You'll see plenty of Santiago yes. Molina coming up. Yeah. <laughs> one of his first ones is here. He's doing a collabora collaboration with Dara Car Dance, which is a New York-based group. And um, Santiago actually did all the video editing for that project. Yeah, which it's spectacular. Seven dancers. Right? Yeah, it's, and, it's amazing. And two musicians. It's great. So we hope to meet Santiago in person someday, but it's really cool to work with him online for now. And the other one I wanted to mention is, um, I hope I'm saying the name right, Ailey Richardson, was recommended to us by Brad Keithley, who's a great fan of all sorts of music and a great supporter of music. He is one of the, uh, we have kind of three sponsor supporters of the concert today, and he's one of them. So mm -hmm. thank you, Brad, both for um, your support and also for recommending amazing musicians to us. Um, so again, we hope to meet Ailey someday. But the theme of this one is collaboration across the, across the miles. Yeah. So uh, enjoy the music. Pretty fair maid was in her garden. Stranger came riding by. He came up to the gate and called her. Send pretty fair maid, will you be my bride? She said, I've a true love who's in the army. And he's been gone for seven long years. And if he's gone for seven years longer, I'll still be waiting for him here Perhaps he's on some more course drowning Perhaps he's on some battlefield slain Perhaps he's to some feather married And you may never see him again But if he's drowned, I hope he's happy Or if he's on some battlefield slain Or if he's to some feather married Love the girl that married him Oh, mm -hmm. 
thanks everyone for letting us be part of this. My name is Damien Connolly, and this is my son. Hey, Coleman. Col yeah. Coleman Connolly. <laughs> and uh, happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Delighted to be part of it. Hello, my name is Santiago Molina. I'm from Argentina. First of all, happy Father's Day. Feliz Día del Padre, en especial a mi papá que está viendo este concierto tan maravilloso al que fuimos invitados. Gracias Caitlin, gracias Chris, gracias Tom Tune Supply por la invitación. Voy a estar acompañado primero que nada de Nicolás Sokolik. Hola Nico, ¿cómo estás? Hola Santi y hola a todo el mundo. Antes que nada quiero desearles a todos un muy feliz Día del Padre. Es un honor y un placer poder estar acá hoy compartiendo algo de música con todos ustedes. Y también vamos a contar con la presencia de Dara Car Dance, un grupo de danzas irlandesas increíble, premiados por todo el mundo. Un placer tenerlos acá. Hello Dara, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. I'm excited to dance to your beautiful music with a bunch of talented dancers from Dara Car Dance, including Michelle Esch, Kendall Griffler, Caitlin Keelahan, Trent Kowalik, Jonathan Matthews, Laura Nice. Melissa Pata Moss and Alexandra Williamson. Many thanks to you and to Tune Supply and happy Father's Day to all of the dads out there. Bueno, vamos a estar tocando dos melodías, two tunes. One it's called Parani, composed by me, and the other one it's a reel called Road to Erogi. I think that's the pronunciation, I don't know. Uh, composed by the great uh, Adam Sutherland. Hope you like it. One, two, three, four. Hello and happy Father's Day to all the dads out there from Scotland. Um, I particularly want to wish my own father a wonderful day. It's over five months since I saw him now um, and I really miss him, so this is for him. This is one of his favourite tunes called Eleanor Plunkett by Tarloch O'Carroll. 
Happy Father's Day. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, one, two, oh, one, two, three. <laughs>
gosh, I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> and I forgot to turn off the air conditioner. Oh, yeah, here, I'll get it. It's really hot here in New York. Um, I guess it's not as hot as it normally is at this time, so I'm grateful for that. But we have been running the air conditioner when um, all these amazing folks are playing. Um, thank you for turning that off. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, let's talk about fathers for a moment okay. again. Um, so there's uh, biological fathers and there's father figures and um, there's other types of fathers, which we'll talk about in a bit. But um, I am very lucky and grateful to have had a number of, um, I'm calling them father figures, although I don't know if that's the right term. They are people who have helped guide me and supported me um, throughout my young life and my professional life. and. Um, I want to dedicate, um, we're going to play three more sets throughout the concert, and I want to ded dedicate each of the sets to uh, some of them. So this next set we're going to play now is dedicated to, I'm calling them the Alaska Trad Fathers. <laughs> now, good. Trad Father has a different name here in New York, right? Um, but they are people who helped me become an Irish musician. Um, when I was young and growing up in Fairbanks, there was a, a pretty good trad scene, um, both Irish and... Scottish and American. It was all kind of the same scene. Everybody played a little bit of everything. Um, but they, these people took me under their wing and protected me when I was too young to be out playing in bars, but still out playing in bars, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and I'm very, very grateful to them. So I'm going to read a couple of their names. The, the entire community is responsible for me being able to play any music, but I'm just going to mention a few people who I'm especially grateful to. Um, Dennis Stevens, Paul Pendry, Jim Baldridge, Lynn Basham, and all of the folks at the um, Contra dance scene in Fairbanks, Contra Borealis. Um, I am here because of you. So uh, thank you very much for, for everything over the years. So this tune is dedicated to my Alaska trad fathers. Um, it's a set of three tunes that I've played for many years. Uh, and Chris uh, agreed to play them with me today. The first one is called Goodbye to Ireland. The second one is uh, the Old Bush, very old traditional tune. And the last one is written by John Doyle, um, and it's called Expect the Unexpected, which I think is a good tune name for 2020, wouldn't yes, you say? <laughs> I would say so. Um, we just worked with, uh, with John and uh, Liz Carroll, who's, who's actually the fiddle player on um, the recording of this tune that I'm going to play, that I, I, stole, I stole the tune from yeah. this recording. Um, we just did a concert with them uh, for the Gulf Coast uh, Canoe last week. I believe you can still buy access to the concert, and I'd highly recommend yeah, it if you need more tunes. It's pretty cool. I think a lot of people here have seen it, and it's it's a special piece. It's pretty cool. So if you need more after this three-hour concert, yeah. head over there and grab that concert. But anyways, we'll play you we'll play you a few few tunes here. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay. Now we're set up here.
Um, thank you to John Doyle for writing that tune. It's one of my favorites. I mean, the name is one of my favorites, and the tune is also yeah. one of my favorites. Um, and I love what you've done through the arrangements. Yeah. Thank you. It's very nice. Um, okay, so, uh, oh, we're almost ready for our next set. Oh, great. So, again, we have six segments, and we are on number three. I hope everybody is staying hydrated. <laughs> Taking a break every so I often. Need to stand up and stretch. Stand up and stretch. Go outside. Flowing, you know. Walk your dog. Um, but if you're if you're if you're ready, we're going to go on to the next sets here. So um, I, again, I'm not going to introduce everybody. I'm just going to say a few things about some of the people, uh, some of the groups coming up here. Um, we're starting off with um, Connor Hearn and Maura Scanlon. Yes. Which is an incredible duo. And then after that, um, we have another uh, contribution from a Come From Away member. I mentioned that in normal times, we play on a Broadway show called Come From Away, and we are fortunate to work with Tom Munkel. Um, we work with him both in the show, and I also work with him on the Broadway Theater Committee and in some various uh, activist sorts of um, uh, things, trying to make the world a better place and life better for musicians in New York, and I'm really honored that he agreed to both be on the concert tonight and also to write an arrangement for his uh, remote guitar quartet. Yeah, it's really it's cool stuff. I think you're going to like it a lot. Really cool. It's yeah. really cool. So that's coming it's, up. It's really unique. You've never seen anything like it. No, it's guaranteed. It's very cool. Okay. And then we also have um, Chloe Fioranzo is coming up. Yes. Now, um, I'm obsessed with Chloe because she is up for any sort of project that we have asked her to be a part of. She was recommended to us by my good friend Dennis Lichtman, who is also coming up. Um, and uh, she I'm just going to give it away now. She plays clarinet in the finale of this concert, and it is so it's spectacular. cool. Yeah. <laughs> but right now, she's going to do a, a, something with her quartet. She was um, we, we got a hold of her because uh, Anne Bieberman, Fairbanks, who runs Fairbanks Concert Association, uh, we did a project for her, and she said, do you know anybody from Postmodern ju Jukebox? And I said, well, I don't, but I know that Dennis Lichtman would know, and that yeah. is how we got hooked up, and she's incredible. And, um, oh, uh, just to start it off, wait, is... is is Danielle next? Uh, I don't know, oh, to be honest. I think actually Danielle might be starting this off. Well, we'll see. I think I think it's Danielle. <laughs> we don't even know who's on the concert next. Anyways. I think, yeah, I think that's right. It's, it's Danielle, Danielle, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so to start this whole thing off, it's actually not Maura and Connor then. Yeah. We don't know what's going on in our own concert. I'm pretty sure it's Danielle that's coming up here. Um, Danielle is in Minneapolis, and she has been involved in um, all of the... Uh, incredible stuff, the movement that's going on there. And she had only a few minutes to get together with a, uh, some friends of hers to record for us. They recorded outside during um, what, a rare moment of silence uh, in the city. It's, she mentioned that it's been quite loud there. So we're really uh, grateful she could join us, uh, spend a few minutes playing some tunes before she got back to all her um, activism work. So let's go over and hear Danielle, who we think is coming next. Here we go.
Happy Father's Day! We're so happy to be part of this marvelous Tune Supply Ensemble. Uh, Greg and I are going to do a Kareen Polwart song called Sun's Coming Over the Hill, which we recorded with our band Daisy Cutter on our new album, Northeast, which is going to be out later this year. Thanks. Six rain-ridden summers he still had an eye for me Every evening he kissed me And told me he'd die for me And then he ran off the road Full of whiskey and irony He always meant what he said So I took to whiskey So I could recall taste of his mouth on my mouth that was all and I tried the same trick with the truck but it stalled the engine was better off dead and oh the nights are long but life is longer The sun's coming over the hill And the taste never left me And I don't think it will And it caused me to supplement Whiskey with pills But there was something inside That I couldn't kill when I say I try and There's some say you get what you deserve But they're wrong Sometimes you get what you're given And then it's all gone And you are lucky if you are sufficiently strong To daily decide not to Die. No, the nights are long, but life is longer still. No, the nights are long, but the sun's coming over. things that I wouldn't change. There are better days gone than those that remain. But I can find joy in the sound of the rain. You have to find joy where Robert Ryan, and we are coming to you from St. Louis. 
And for a happy Father's Day, we are going to play you a set of happy slides. Hi, we are the Chloe Fear Mental Quartet. The lovely people of Toon Supply asked us to be a part of this concert. Molly named Ted and I all wish you a very happy Father's Day and please enjoy our rendition of My Dreams Are Getting Better All The Time. Have a wonderful day.
were strangers a couple of nights ago And though it's a dream I never dream he'd ever say hello Well maybe tonight he'll hold me tight when the moonbeams shine My dreams are getting better all the time pictures yeah so cute um uh that was that was pretty incredible there was something that happened during that set that i was going to talk about and just as i started to say it it left my head oh no have you guys been having this problem during the lockdown i, I have yeah my, I, like intelligence has gone down i think a few points absolutely now. mine <laughs> mine certainly has as well <laughs> um maybe it will come to me we'll see um, okay, so we'll just move move along for now. Uh, we were talking about different sorts of dads. Um, we also have grandfathers, of course, and mm -hmm. I um, I have a pretty extensive photo collection, um, which I like to go through when we're doing um, concerts or sessions to find interesting pictures. And I managed to find a few pictures of my grandfathers. And I actually consider myself to have three grandfathers because um, my dad's dad, uh, unfortunately passed away before I was born. So I, I didn't ever meet him. He married my grandmother when she was 30 and when she was 60, she got married again to a man named Dale, who I do know and, and know as grandpa Dale. Um, he unfortunately has passed away as well. Uh, when she turned 90, we said, grandma, it seems that you get married every 30 years. Yeah. 
And so you should probably be finding your third husband here. Right. No, she didn't. But um, anyways, <laughs> so I have two, two grandfathers um, on my dad's side. And on my mom's side, I have um, Grandpa Butt. So I found some pictures, and I forgot what order they're in. So let's just go see what I've got. Oh, OK. So this is my grand Grandpa Marvin, who I never met. He's on the right. And he and my grandma moved up to Alaska to fly airplanes and teach in, um, in the bush. Uh, so um, I wish I could have met him. He seems like an incredible person. I didn't find a ton of pictures of my grandpa Dale. He's there uh, with the with the wood splitter in the middle, running the whole operation, Great. of course. Very good. And that's my mom on the left, and I think one of her eleven siblings on the right. This is my um, uh, grandpa Bud on the right with my grandma Nancy. Um, they had twelve children. Incredible. Um, so I think I have one more picture of them later on i think this might have been after all 12 children i'm not sure but that's uh my grandpa bud on the left my grandma nancy and that's grandpa bud with um, one of his grandchildren now i actually don't know how many grandchildren he has because he had 12 children and the children all had quite a few children and um it's something like 50 or 60. Yeah. I, i'm not sure my mom's in the comments she could probably tell us how many there are um but Impressive. it was a big family and and um he always had kids running around and was we all remember him as being a great grandfather. Um, all right, so those are my grandfather pictures. Um, let's see. Oh, I was going to remind you, if you haven't already seen me reminding you in the comments one million times, please, if you can, chip into our contribution box. The oh, yeah. link is on Chris's head. Right here. He has to hold it up with his head the whole time. It's uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, and uh, it's down in the description, and I've also been putting it in the comments. Um, there are two different links, just out of safety's sake, because some, sometimes one of them goes down. They both go to the same place. And all of the contrib contributions tonight go to our 90-plus musicians, singers, and dancers. I'm saying 90-plus because I actually lost track yeah. after 90. We'll have to add them For all real. up at some point. I actually don't know how many people are on the At least 90. The There's yeah. at least 90 on the gutter. So um, we are hoping to, um, to make enough that we can give everybody a uh, normal gig wage for doing this concert on Father's Day. So thank you for anything you're able yes, to Yes, thanks give. in advance for all your help. And we see lots of people have been donating and yes. contributing, and it's it's so appreciated. So thank you. Yes. And also, we just hope you're enjoying the tunes and having a good um, afternoon with us. And also getting some air. We are now entering into our halfway point, approximately. Yep. Maybe well, a little after. About to start our fourth of six segments here, right? Oh, we're actually maybe a little ahead. Yeah. So um, just make sure you're staying hydrated and, uh, and stretching a little bit. Um, during all of this music. All right, so next set. We are on the fourth of six sets, as Chris just said. And um, this next set features a whole bunch of Tune Supply artists, actually. So if you want to read more about them, I have been putting stuff in the comments, but you can go over to the Tune Supply website, which is just um, tune.supply. That's the, that's the address. You don't need any .com at the end. Tune.supply. Tune.supply. And click on artists, and you can see all the bios um, I think almost everybody in this next set is, is one of the Tune Supply artists. So um, check, check out their work over there and click on the links, uh, buy their music if you can. Um, we also have uh, the most countries represented in the next set, I noticed. Oh, yeah? Four of our six countries that are represented um, are happening in the next set, including Santiago again. And I was just about to say that must mean we're about to hear from Santiago. Very yes, good. we've got uh, France, Ireland, Argentina, and the U.S. Um, in this next set. And we 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 um, thought of a great idea this morning after everything was already done, which was we should have put the um, locations the countries, for everybody yeah. on their names. We'll do that next time yep. because I'm sure there will be another one. Yes. Um, okay, so this one is actually going to start with uh, Maura Scanlon and Connor Hearn. This is one of my favorites on the concert tonight. I um, hope you enjoy this song. One, two, three. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, happy Father's Day. Uh, we're gonna play two tunes, The Chaffpool Post and Larkin's Beehives. Count us in there, Emer. Oh, one, two, three.
Hey there, my name is Louisa Benyon and I'm in a transatlantic trio with Loïc Blejean, who is in France as I am. We are both in northwestern France in Brittany. And Darren Kelly, who is in Philadelphia on guitar. So we're going to play a set of reels that we associate with the playing of somebody who's kind of a father figure to us in the music. And that's the great American accordion player, Billy McComiskey. So the first tune is the Boogie Reel, which was composed by another American accordion player, John Nolan. The second one is the Controversial, which Billy McComiskey himself composed. And the third is the Rainy Day. We have a lot of those here in Brittany. And it's Billy's version of the Rainy Day. So happy Father's Day to Billy McComiskey and happy Father's Day as well to Michael Kelly, to Franche Blégeon and to Joe Benyon. One, two, three, four.
My name is Marie Flory, and today I'm going to be playing the first movement of the Giorgi Ligeti Sonata for Solo Cello. First, thank you to Caitlin and everyone at Tune Supply for making this amazing concert possible. I wanted to talk a bit about what I'm playing because, as you will hear, it differs from the rest of the music in today's program. Now, growing up, my dad played mandolin and banjo and always was trying to get us to play old time and Irish tunes with him. Instead, I decided to play the most modern and dissonant classical music that I could. That's what you're going to hear right now. Happy Father's Day, Dad. Thank you. 
Hello again, I'm here with a new haircut and my Galician bagpipe. I'll be playing two uh, muineiras, two Galician tunes. One is called uh, Muineira de Pollo, the other one is called Muineira de Ourense. I'm here with Sergio Ritnikov Gunnarsson. Hola Sergio, ¿cómo estás? Hola Santiago, muchas gracias por invitarme. Estoy muy contento de acompañarte aquí. Hi Chris, hi Caitlin and everybody at Tune Supply. My name is Sergio and I'm here all the way from Argentina to play some tunes with my good friend Santiago. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Amazing. Nice stuff. Um, I remembered the thing I was going to say when I forgot something earlier. Oh, what? Um, maybe I said this. I'm completely losing my mind. But did I say that Santiago is in the Argentinian version of Come From Away? Oh, you did not say okay. that. But yes. that is true. So um, so the show that we play on here in New York has an Argentinian version in Spanish. And um, Santiago is the the pipes and... Pipe and flute, whistle flute and player. And whistle yep. player. Yep. Which is... Incredible. Super cool. I, I mean, that's a great connection. Yeah, that's how we, I think that's how we got hooked up in the first place. Yeah. Um, but uh, I saw that Mimi said in the comments that Santiago should come to New York as soon yes. as it's um, possible, and we would love that. Santi, you have to come to New York. And we visit. can set up gigs for you. Yeah. Hint, hint. 
Maybe he can sub on Broadway. Yeah, probably. That would be awesome. Um, if and when Broadway opens, and if and when our show opens, we hope that you'll come and say hi to us, but we are not sure yeah. <laughs> when or if that will happen. It's not looking so. great, but who knows? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Um, all right, so um, we have a couple more pictures, and I think this is the last pictures uh, for tonight, but I wanted to go to the ends of the generational spectrum here. So um, my great-grandfather, my mom's grandfather, uh, was alive for a good portion of my young life and I loved him. He lived in Oakland, California, and I got to see him a few times. I remember visiting his apartment there like it was yesterday. And I found a couple pictures, which we're just gonna show you in a moment, but I'll say that right after that, we're gonna go to the other end of the generational spectrum and show my nephews. Um, my sister, Kylan, is married to a, a guy named Andrew, and I just think Andrew is the best. He's, he's like the top dad on Father's Day. He's the top Spectacular dad. Spectacular example of a dad. I, yes. He's incredible. So we're gonna show um, uh, two of Kylie and Andrew's sons, my nephews. They made some uh, Father's Day art, which we'll show. And then you'll see the extremely cute uh, whole family at the end. But first, great-grandfather, that's me on the left side. Um, my great-grandfather and my grandma Nancy on the right, that's my mom's mom. I, I loved him. He gave me my first blanket, which I still have. And I'm not sure who this is. It, it might be Rachel, my sister Rachel. Hmm. Um, uh, and I'm there behind, and I think we have one more. Oh, I love these pictures where I'm crying. They're like my favorite pictures. That's um, my grandma, me in the middle having a fit. I had a lot of fits. I still have a lot of fits, and my great-grandfather there. Okay, and going to the other end here, this is Luca and Landon. They've got some art that they made for their dad, Andrew, on Father's Day. Uh, they gave me permission to show this picture, and I actually paid them money to make that art. It Very was a good, good. trade. Um, and this is the whole family. They are just, I, they're like bottles. I, they're so cute. The little one's name is Arlo. He's the newest arrival. Very cute. Um, and my, my, uh, I have two other sisters where there's four girls. Um, and the youngest one, Taya, uh, recently got married and is pregnant now, due in November. But we don't have a picture of that baby yet because it's not here. <laughs> still to arrive. <laughs> it's still baking at this moment. So maybe if we do this again next year, we can have a picture. Um, okay, so uh, we have two more sets we're playing. This one is going to be another dedication. I want to dedicate this to two Alaskans um, who have been uh, father figures, mentors, I don't know what to say, friends to me, um, very supportive of uh, me and helpful uh, both in my professional and personal lives. Um, Mark Ward um, and John DeBuse. John DeBuse's whole family is incredible, um, but since it's Father's Day, thank you to John for everything. We went up and did a gig in Juneau where John lives in February, right before everything shut down, and um, he was just an incredible host as, along with his family. So I know that he loves this tune, so this is why I'm playing it. The first one is called Neil Gow's Lament for the Death of His Second Wife. The second tune is called Father John Mackenzie's. I think. Yeah, I think so. And third one is uh, Farewell to Wally Range, and we'll end off with The Cat's Meow by none other than Joni Madden. Don't worry, that sounds like a lot of tunes. It is, but we're just going to play them for a short time. Um, I'm playing on what we have dubbed the Chin Cello. This is a regular violin that is strung with octave strings. So it's down in the cello range. It's actually slightly below the viola range, and it lends itself really well to this first tune. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
Well, that was fun. All right. <laughs> Um, I learned that tune when I uh, did um, a bunch of touring with Cherish the Ladies, which was, of course, a blast. Um, but yeah, Joni Madden wrote that. Actually, Joni did a live stream earlier today, I believe. I think I don't so, know yeah. If anybody so, was, over on Facebook, I think. Hopefully, yeah. some of you were there before you we were here. There's also always lots of good music going on on the internet now. Yes. <laughs> so much. Um, whew, okay, I'm sweating again. Yep. That was a workout. Um, Okay, we've got a bunch of amazing uh, people coming up in this next set. This is the fifth out of six sets, so we are nearing the end. <laughs> we're in we our, have... well into our third hour here. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Um, yep. If you're, if you're t getting tired out, um, this will remain on YouTube afterwards, so you can come back and watch. Always come back, check us out. But you should stay. Why not? You can chat to everybody. What's another else. hour? What's another hour? Grab so, another drink from the bar, yeah. from the bartender, um, and stick with us. Um, we have uh, an, another good friend of mine and one of the inc most incredible musicians I know, uh, the multi-instrumentalist Dennis Lichtman is going to start this off. Um, and after that, we've got a couple of other people I just want to mention. Manis McGuire is coming up. I met Manis at the Swannanoa gathering a couple of years ago. Unfortunately, the Swannanoa is uh, canceled this year, which we're very sad about. But um, Manis will be on, on screen, so hopefully that will... Um, yes. Help five percent uh, for the fact that Swanano is canceled. Um, then we have uh, Lisa Gutkin is going to sing with Emma's Re Revolution. Um, Lisa is on a CD that I listened to growing up um, by the band Whirly Gig, and she also uh, recently wrote the score for a Broadway musical, one of my favorites I've ever seen, called Indecent. So you should check that out. Yep. It's not playing anymore, but I think it's on tour, right? Not right um, now. I mean, not, yeah, nothing's uh, on tour nothing, right now. Not currently. <laughs> When it comes back, but yes, tour. it's. Uh, I think over the last couple of years, actually, it's had quite a, I don't know if a tour, but a, definitely like a, a life after Broadway, yeah. if you will, like in the regional. Incredible show! Incredible if show! You, if you can yeah. see it. And lastly, the person that will finish off this set is none other than Mick Maloney himself, um, coming from Bangkok, uh, Thailand. So we're quite excited about that. So we'll see you uh, after the set is done. All right, enjoy. Happy Father's Day, Tune Supply fans! This is a song called Crazy Rhythm that the great gypsy guitarist Django Reinhardt recorded the very same month that my father was born, April 1937. This one's for you, Dad.
Hello everybody and uh, to all the dads out there, happy Father's Day. Uh, I'm Manus McGuire, Dave Curley is with me and uh, Dave and I are both from the west of Ireland. Dave's from Galway, now resident in Chicago, has been for many years. And I'm living down here in County Clare, in East Clare, a little village called Tumgraney. And on that, the tune we're going to play for you is Tumgraney Castle. It's a lovely old hornpipe and uh, there's a lovely castle just about 100 yards from my house here. Tim Graney Castle and we're going to follow then with three reels from my latest CD The Copper Plate Sessions. The reels are called the old and the new copper plate reels followed by the mason's apron as I learned from the playing of the North player, uh, flute player and whistle player a man called Michael Russell the mason's apron. So hope you enjoy the set and I should say at this stage to Caitlin and to Chris thank you very much for putting this whole project together. a song that I wrote to the lyrics of Woody Guthrie, one of the fathers of American folk music, and um, it originally was on a CD called Wonder Wheel with the Klezmatics with Susan McKeown singing it, and then I put it out later on my own EP. It's called From Here On In, so is the EP, and the lyrics are, they just kind ground me. They're really lovely and, and um, I, I hope they're nice for you too. Thanks.
Hi everyone, happy Father's Day. My name is Maeve Flanagan. I'm going to be playing some tunes today with my mom, Rose Conway Flanagan, on the fiddle, and my brother, Kieran Flanagan, on the piano. We are going to play the road to Kilkenny into the drops of spring water, but start off with a waltz called Genevieve's. Uh, we'd like to wish everyone a very happy Father's Day, especially our own father, Mike. Um, have a great day.
Happy Father's Day, everyone. This is Mick Maloney here in Bangkok, Thailand, and I'm greatly honored to be part of this uh, very historic Father's Day concert. Uh, thank you, Caitlin, for the invitation. Uh, the song I'd like to sing is called By Memory Inspired. It's a tribute to the people who, in a sense, are the fathers of the Irish Republic, the democracy uh, that we have today. They stood up for human rights and for the right, rights for all people, irrespective of creed or ethnicity. Uh, the United Irishmen was the organization that after the French and American revolutions had established fundamental values and uh, liberty, the rights of every individual to vote, and indeed uh, the rights of every individual to equal opportunity. That this stood up for those values and all of them mentioned in this song gave their lives uh, for what they believed in. Uh, they are, are my heroes. But in particular, I would like to dedicate this song to my own father, who was a hero of mine in many ways. Uh, by occupation, he was uh, an air traffic controller. Uh, he worked at Shannon Airport, and those of you who have flown into Shannon Airport will be, in a sense, the beneficiary of his, uh, of, of his vision. He, he, was, uh, he installed the early radar systems there. Before that, he was in the Irish Air Corps. We were a neutral country in the Second World War. Uh, and he, uh, he was part of a mighty fleet of aircraft that we had, six in all. Three were operational at any one time, and he was, a, he was a, a, an aircraft pilot. But his greatest contribution to humanity was in the last 33 years of his life. He was one of the first people uh, to be involved in Alcoholics Anonymous in Ireland, and was quite openly so. There was nothing anonymous about him when it came to that. And he helped countless people repair broken lives and as a result, countless families have a better life. Uh, I dedicate this song uh, to, to my own father. Uh, he was the same name as myself, Mick Maloney. By memory inspired. By memory inspired and by love of country fired, the deeds of men I love to dwell upon and the patriotic glow my memory will bestow a tribute to brave men that are gone, boys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. In 1797, may his soul find rest in heaven. William Orge of execution was led on for a jury drunk agreed that Irish was his creed. And bribes and treachery led them on, boys on. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. In 98 July, the informer's pay was high. When Reynolds gave the scaffold brave McCann. But McCann was Reynolds first. One could not allay his thirst. So he gave up bonds and burned that are gone, boys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. And we saw a nation's tears shed for John and Henry Shears. He drave by Judas Captain Armstrong. We may forgive, but yet we never can forget the fate of Tone and Emmett. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. How did Lord Edward die like a man without a sigh? But he left his handiwork on Major Swan. But sir, with steel-clad breast and a coward's heart at best, he gave us cause to mourn Lord Edward that is gone, boys, gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. September 183, end of this cruel tyranny, when Emmett's blood the scaffold rained upon. 
Our heroes die that we might yet find liberty. So here's a tribute to brave men that are gone, boys gone. Here's a tribute to brave men that are gone. Beautiful. Mm, wow. I mentioned that uh, Mick is in Bangkok, Thailand. That's where he recorded. Yeah. And Brenda is in Ireland. I believe Dublin. Dublin, I think, yeah. Um, she said Rings End, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Um, it's incredible what we can do on the internet these days. I yeah. guess we always could, but we just didn't know. We just didn't do it. <laughs> we just didn't do it. <laughs> so that was the problem. Yes. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, Mick wanted me to... Uh, to let you all know about another concert that's happening on Tuesday. Mick has uh, organized this concert. It is also happening on YouTube. Um, and I put a link in the comments. Um, I will put another one there in a second. But I'm going to just read you what it is because it's a, it's a pretty incredible um, thing. And Mick is curating it, kind of how we curated this concert. Um, it's called Infinite Hope. Irish traditional musicians, singers, and dancers performing in support of our black and brown brothers and sisters in their long str struggle for social justice, human rights, and freedom from oppression. And the list of people on it is basically the, it's a trad all-star list. I can't read it because it's, it's long. It's all of these people. Um, I highlighted some though that you'll recognize. Liz Carroll, Doni Carroll, Karen Casey, John Doyle, Seamus Egan, Tommy Sands, the list goes on. It is happening on Tuesday, June 24th. I believe that's this Tuesday. Yeah, it is this Tuesday, yeah. At 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Ireland Time. Is it Ireland Time? Irish Time? Irish Time. time? Mm. Um, uh, so check that out. The uh, If you go to the Green Fields of America um, on Facebook, which is Mix uh, Band, you can find more information. And again, I'll put the link in the comments as well. I would highly recommend it. Um, and we're so grateful for Mick agreeing to be on this concert. He was on the last one as well, and he's such a good sport to participate in yes. everything. <laughs> it's, it's, I, it's amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, so we have one more tune we're going to do for you before we uh, do our final set. Uh, we have a set, we have a tune, and then there's another set of music. And we've saved some of the best for last. Well, they're all amazing, it's so all I good, can't though. even say yeah. that. But we, some, of, some, of, some things that I'm really excited about, we've saved for the final set. So sure. thanks, thanks for sticking around. Um, this last set that we're going to do is dedicated to some other mentors, father figures of mine. Um, uh, one is from Alaska. His name is Kurt Byers, and he has just been um, a constant supporter of my music career, even when it was uh, going nowhere and floundering. He uh, believed in me and um, uh, made some opportunities um, happen for me that I'm extremely grateful for. Uh, so this is for Kurt and also for Abe Faber, who uh, with his wife, Christy, ran for many years the Clearflower Bakery in Boston. If you're in Boston, you might have visited this yes. bakery. It's the best. I used to work there, and I used to also watch um, Abe and Christy's kids. And they were like parents to me when I was in Boston and a little lost um, on, my, on the journey of life. And so um, I'm really grateful to, to them, uh, forever grateful. So let's play one last tune here. This is called Cotton Patch Rag. This is also for my mom and my dad, who both love when I play Texas Swing fiddle. I don't really play Texas Swing. I am not an expert. I just want to make that clear. I have a few party pieces that sometimes I pull out when people bribe me or beg me. Um, and this is one of them. Nobody bribed me or begged me. I, I picked it myself. But uh, it's called Cotton Patch Rag. And I uh, propose that we play this at about 2 PM today to Chris. And being the good sport that he is, um, he said yes. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Um, so here we go. A little Texas swing before our last set of music here. Okay, you ready? Uh, yeah. I hope we remember how to do this. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, not too fast. Okay. I'm saying that to myself more than you. Yeah. Okay. Uh,
I just hit my bow on the wall. I'm so excited. All right. Ooh, that's so super fun. I should probably learn a few more of those. I have like three that I've played since I was 10 years old and uh, a little lazy like that. I should yeah. learn some more. They're great. They're great show-off tunes. <laughs> yeah, that sounded amazing. Usually Thank I don't you. play that with anybody because there's nobody around who plays it. So um, it's lovely. Now I do. It's lovely to be able to play it. Didn't a few hours ago, but <laughs> I cheated. I have the dots. Yes, these dots are from one of my favorite fiddle books called Tricks from the... Tricks from the Devil's Box. Mm -hmm. I think the Devil's Box is a, is a fiddle. Yeah. I'm not sure. Um, anyways. Okay, so we got one more set of uh, amazing musicians for you. Um, there's a ton. I'm not going to introduce all of them again. But the first two, I'm just going to say, John Redman and Matt Stapleton are favorites mm -hmm. here in New York um, at the session scene, all of the sessions around town. Um, but in particular, at the Mary O's session, which is a session that I started about five years ago in the East Village at the pub Mary O's. And we continued it for about five years until uh, coronavirus came into our lives. And since then, we moved the session online. We just finished doing the 27th online Mario session. A lot of the people on this concert have been guests at the, at the online session. And we have some incredible people coming up, including Santiago is going to lead a session. Yeah. Um, Loic, Blajon, and Louis Benian, a whole bunch. So we encourage you to come uh, stop by the session, stop by the virtual uh, mm -hmm. pub. It's on Mondays and Thursdays on this channel at yep. 8 p.m., including tomorrow, even Monday though... Monday meaning tomorrow, <laughs> yes. We are extremely exhausted, but we will be there We tomorrow. are gluttons for punishment, I think. <laughs> and tomorrow we have uh, Shea Coyle and Eugene Bender. Yep. So they'll keep us awake with their, um, with their fiddle and accordion. So we hope to see you tomorrow. Anyways, let's get this uh, started off here. At the end, we'll come back for just a moment before we go into the grand finale, which features about 30 of us on screen at the same time. Um, including some Easter eggs in the footage. Yeah. So please stick around or come back in a little bit if you need a little break. But the finale is something to behold. All the editing, all the special effects done by Chris here. Um, it's pretty cool. So here's right. your last bit of Stay music tuned. for tonight. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is John Redmond, and uh, with me today is Mr. Matt Stapleton. Matt, how are you? I'm well, John. I just want to say a quick hello to my dad, Jerry. Uh, cool. All right, we want to wish everyone a uh, happy Father's Day out there and um, hope everybody is having a good time. And uh, we're going to play some reels for you. The uh, first one is called The Gravel Walk. The second one is called Tim Dillon's. And the last one is a Scottish tune called Lasky McCaskill. All right. One, two, three, and...
Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Hi, everybody. I'm Mari Black. I bring greetings from Boston, Massachusetts. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us. Happy Father's Day. I'm James Yoshizawa from Los Angeles, California. We're so excited to be a part of this wonderful, beautiful group of musicians coming together digitally from all over the place. We are going to do a little duo collaboration for you here. This is our perhaps unusual take on a traditional Irish tune that I love, and it's called The Star of Munster.
Hi, I'm Arupa Boyd. And I'm Laura Metcalf. And we are Boyd Meets Girl. We want to wish everyone a happy Father's Day, especially my dad, Steve Metcalf, over in Connecticut. And my father, Penley, in Australia. And Rupert here, who is a great father to our almost two-year-old son, Milo. Today we're going to play for you a song that probably needs no introduction, but uh, it's Blackbird by the Beatles. Thank you so much to Caitlin and Chris of Tune Supply for making this all possible. Hello everybody and happy Father's Day one and all. My name is Nuala Kennedy and I'm here in my sitting room in Ennis in County Clare, a very beautiful and sunny County Clare this week I'm glad to say and I'll be joined for this song by Brenda Castles who's up in Dublin. Hi Brenda. Hi happy Father's Day everyone. And also by Emer Arkins who's from here in Clare but is living over in America. Hi Emer. So here we go with a song called Sweet Sorrow in the Wind. It's the first time all three of us have sung together and I'm really looking forward to singing with the girls here. So on we go. I hear the soft wind sighing Through every bush and tree the sound of my heart crying when you are far from me when we're apart my darling there's sorrow in the wind when we're apart my darling 
sweet sorrow in the wind. You leave me in the morning. Your footsteps die away. Though not a leaf is staring, I hear the wind. When we're apart, my darling, there's sorrow in the wind. When we're apart, my darling, sweet sorrow in the wind. They say. As love grows older, it fades and dies away. Yet all our lives together, and never brightening day. When we're apart, my darling, there's sorrow. The wind. When we're apart, my darling, sweet sorrow in the wind. When we're apart, my darling, there's sorrow in the wind. When we're apart, my darling. Sweet sorrow in the wind. Hmm. Amazing. Wow. <laughs> uh, what well, a way. That's a good way to end us uh, end it off, huh? What a way to end off this, this extremely long concert. We have managed to go even longer than our longest expectations. <laughs> um, you know, when I was putting this concert together, I, uh, I sent the, re not the request, I sent the offer out to, I think about 120 musicians. And I said I had to cut it off at 70. I was not able to cut no. it off at 70 because there are so many um, amazing artists and performers in um, in my network, Chris's network, um, the trad network, the classical network, the jazz network, we're not even tapping fully into those other yeah, networks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, it's, it, it was impossible for me to say no to, to some people because um, with stuff like that, how could you? So um, though it's 910 and we're entering now the fourth hour of this concert, we really appreciate a lot of you sticking around. 565 it looks like, which Very is insane. Very impressive, yes. Um, as we mentioned, if you only saw part of this, you can go back and see it again anytime you want. It yep. will become a regular video after this is done. A um, couple things to end off before we do dun, 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 the grand finale, which is... Stick be... around. You have five more minutes. You'll, you'll not regret it. Yeah. Okay. And I made a list so I don't forget because, as I mentioned, my brain is switched cheese right now. Uh, okay. Mailing list. I know everybody hates getting emails in their email box. I do. But if you want to be on our mailing list, we would love to have you. Um, we don't send emails that often, maybe once no. every two weeks or so, or uh, I'm lazy. So it's, it's not very often, yeah, not often. Um, but if you go down in the description, the links are there to sign up for the mailing list and we'd, we'd love to have you. We promise to send you great content. That's the word we're supposed to use, right? <laughs> content. Lots tunes. Of great we'll social send you media tunes. content and all that, right? <laughs> we have a Facebook page and an Instagram and all the stuff that you're supposed to have in 2020 and we post lots of great stuff from we actually do um, have good content on our facebook and instagram some, because some of cool our videos, amazing yeah. musicians and yeah. dancers uh we we run as i mentioned a session virtual session on mondays and thursdays and have incredible stuff which is some we sometimes post some of that but you're really welcome to come to the session on monday and thursday come tomorrow if you if yep. you want shake oil and eugene benner will be That's at eight o'clock eastern time tomorrow night yep on um, this channel it's a little more silly than the concert, maybe 100% more silly. We do all sorts of crazy things. It's we have silly, yeah. um, mascot of uh, avocado. I know somebody, some of you session goers were wondering where avocado is. Here, right here. he or she is. And we have Amy Bogard's little wren that she made for us here as well. 
Um, what else? Let's see. Mary O's. Okay. Uh, thanks to the artists, ah. of course. Um, you usually do the thanks. I don't think I can name all 90 artists. That would take us another head. hour. Yeah. So um, uh, if you scroll down, you'll see all the artist names. But we had over 90 people tonight. Thank you to all of them for spending mm -hmm. the time. It, it's, it's actually quite time consuming to make these videos. Um, so thank you to everybody for uh, putting in the hard work. Um, and we also had a couple people who were uh, financial sponsors to make sure that we could d do just the basics for this concert, just to cover our butts. And those people are uh, Miriam Buell, uh, uh, Brad Keithley, and Mimi and Terry Chapin um, up in Fairbanks. So uh, thank you to you guys for, for making it so that yeah. we can actually put this concert on. Without that, we would be stuck in the water. We'd be stuck in our box of an apartment yes. here in New York. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, uh, so this is put on by Tunes Apply, which is there. The logo is made by Anna Colleton. Mm -hmm. Um, and you should go check out Tune Supply. We're biased because we started Tune Supply. Oh, but we think it's cool. It's pretty cool. There's cool stuff over there. Yep. And we also are uh, very rapidly branching into production and online streaming and consulting services relating to all of this sort of stuff, editing and mixing and video stuff. That's all Chris's domain. So if we can help in any way, let us know. Um, we you have... know, there's a lot of artists out there that are trying to produce content and Maybe not sure you. how it's how it's done, so we can certainly help. We can help, and um, there's lots of other cool stuff. Uh, we have some learning resources over there. Uh, more than sixty artists. A tune supply store where you can buy custom performances, little ones for yeah. for thirty bucks. Um, anyways, go check it out. Uh, lastly, uh, my last note says, "See you next time." Okay, so I think okay. that means it might be time <laughs> I for guess the finale. We have to have another another concert then <laughs> we'll hopefully have another concert yeah. uh, we have no idea when that will be these take a lot of time to put on but maybe yeah. august or something like that yeah. um again last time if you can throw some uh money into the contributions that will be split up between all 90 of us 90 plus of us tonight um and i think that's it anything else no thank you so much yeah. for Thanks, everybody joining us for such a long time on yeah. this gorgeous sunday around. evening three hours 15 minutes all right you're all um marathon trad marathon errs um i had something else to say oh man know. the the lockdown is getting my brain um i'll put it in the comments All right. thanks again happy father's day happy father's to day, everyone, everyone out there and enjoy the finale